festival. Uh, and it's such a, an honor to teach and um, just be in the practice with everybody. So from your various homes and wherever you're at watching, welcome. Thanks for being here and supporting. And let's just end our weekend with a really sweet um, final practice of the festival. So it'll be just like a real simple, gentle flow. We'll move a little bit and we'll connect with our breath and we'll do all of those things. So somewhere nearby, find like a pillow or a towel or a blanket to sit on and um, sit towards the edge of it. I just have a little pillow here and you're gonna sit up as tall as you possibly can to find as much length in the spine as possible. Okay, let me just close this. The neighbors are kind of loud. <laughs> And you're just going to go ahead and let your eyes rest close. Relax your jaw. And start to notice the quality of your breath. The quality of your inhale and the quality of your exhale. Inhale through the nose, the body's calm. Exhale through the nose, the mind is relaxed. Just gonna make this a little more connected. I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I don't wanna mess it up. Okay, good, so let's get all zen. <laughs> so we'll have the palms maybe face down onto the knees. Really reach up through the crown of your head as you relax the sit bones into the earth. And if your knees come up a lot higher than your hips, you'll sit up on multiple blankets or even a chair or a little step stool or something, whatever you got lying around. And let's go ahead and just connect with the breath. So shoulders soften, eyes are resting, relax every single muscle in your face. And then soften around the very center of the belly. And you're just going to find the rhythm. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Soften the energy. If your mind is wandering like the minds do, that's what you just do. You come back to the inhale. My body's calm. Exhale. I'm allowing my mind to relax and soften. And see if you can start to really expand the inhalation and keep the length that you're creating as you exhale, okay? Take two more natural breaths, however you're breathing. And then go ahead and slowly exhale all the air out of the body. Every last bit of air is gone. And then we'll start with a brand new inhale through the nose, comfortably fill the belly, the lungs, the chest, the ribs. Keep breathing in, hold your breath at the top. And then a really soft audible exhale, go ha. So all the air leaves your body. And then through the nose, once all the air is gone, you'll inhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your breath. And then through the nose, slowly exhale. Five, four, three, two, and one. We'll do it a couple more times. Inhale slow for five, four, Three, two, one. I like to hold for a moment at the top, then slow exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and do another round. Guide yourselves. If you need to change the number, you can add on. Maybe you can go to 10. Whatever you're doing, you're creating equal parts in and out through the nose. And then when you're done with that, you'll come back to natural breathing. Hopefully you feel like a little bit more expansion in the lungs and the belly. 
And then let's begin to just gently roll the shoulders. So I'm not playing any music in my background today, just so it doesn't affect the, the mic. But if you have some soft music you can play, if you have like one of those Alexa systems, you can tell her to just play meditation music or Zen music, and it put, puts a really calming playlist on, just if you want that. And then walk your right hand over to the right and then reach the left arm up and over. Root down into the left sit bone, take three full breaths. Try your best not to let the head hang or dangle. Just let it flow with the rest of the spine. Gently press into your left glute. Two more breaths. Good. And then on the next inhale, come up. Arms extend to the sky and then palms face forward. Open and close your hands three times. Get the blood flow moving in the fingers. And then on the exhale, release your left hand to the left, right arm up and over. Nice side bend here. Sweet breaths into the body. No rush, just take your time finding length. Root down into the right glute. Good. And then on the inhale, come back up. Make soft fists with the hands and then see if you can kind of punch the sky and then circle the wrists one direction and then the other. Good. Exhale your hands to the heart center. Plug the knuckles of your thumbs right into the center of your sternum. Let the shoulders soften. Let the eyes close. Imagine or start to feel the chin level with the earth. Take a big breath in from the root. Keep inhaling. Hold the breath at the top. And then another audible ha out the mouth. Interlace the fingers together and extend your palms forward. Don't lock out your elbows. Let them be soft and breathable. See if you can reach your arms up and overhead. Stay here in the center or exhale just a soft, sweet bend to your left or your right. We're going both ways. Breathe. And whatever you're doing, switch directions. Up and over. Inhale, come up. Exhale, slowly free the hands back to the earth. Crawl forward, lead with the heart, keep lengthening the spine, reach, reach, reach. Reach back through your glutes. Stay here with me or some of you can bow the frontal brain all the way to the mat, go ahead and do that. We'll just stay for about two complete breaths. Good. Continue to let the breath flow in and out through the nose. Good. And then on your inhale, rise back up with me. Uncross, recross your legs. And then from here, inhale the arms, free them up. Exhale, soft twist to your body's right. So bring your left hand to your right knee, right hand somewhere behind you to keep you propped up. Open the heart center to the right room. And then just feel free to look any direction that's comfortable for your neck. So explore, peek over the right shoulder, see if you connect there, or maybe even the left shoulder feels nice. So no restrictions, no rules. We're just all here doing what we can in the moment, connecting with the breath and just honoring our bodies in our own practice. I'm just here suggesting some things. You might vibe with it, you might not. Inhale, the arms come up. But I invite you to just have a really great time. Exhale, twist to your left and stay connected to the breath, whatever you're doing. Because that's mainly what this practice is about is your breath. And then we'll worry about the, the posture is secondary. So open the heart center to the left. Decide which direction you're looking. Find the inhale and the exhale. Two full moments here. Good. And then when the body's ready, inhale, free the arms back up. And then as you exhale, bend the elbows. And then go ahead and extend your arms out to the sides. Flex your hands, almost like you're trying to guide the fingertips back towards the head. And then on the exhale, curl the fingers into the wrist, the knuckles point down. Inhale, flex the hands. Exhale, point them down. And then reach the fingertips away from each other so the palms face the earth. And then come down, 
up and around. Big swimmer's arms. Inhale up. Just getting some mobility in the shoulders again. Two more. Great. And then see if you can go the opposite direction. Maybe up, down, and around. One more movement. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale your hands to prayer. Hinge at your hips. Fold over your legs. Again, forward fold with the opposite leg in front. Just spend three complete breaths here. Great. And then we'll come up on a breath in. And then we're going to unwind the legs and find our way onto the back. Okay, so we're gonna just soften the energy in the lower back before we get moving. So lie all the way down onto your ground, onto your mat. And then once you get there, go ahead and start to stretch the arms and legs away from each other. So we wanna do a full body stretch. So your toe tips will point forward and you'll reach back mindfully through your fingertips. Soft tuck of the chin to the chest so the back of the neck gets long. Point and flex the feet three times. And then just add in your own creative movements to your ankle feet, your wrist, each finger, each toe finds movement. And then go the opposite direction with it. And then on the next exhale, release your palms to face down onto the belly. Try not to cover the navel. Let the shoulders rest into the mat. Let the hips melt. If you can gently adjust by tucking your glutes slightly towards your heels to feel the back of your lower back start to extend, go ahead and try that. And then let your toes naturally turn out, palms heavy into the belly. They're pretty effortless now. Elbows drip off to the sides. And then just start to observe how you're breathing again. Inhale, calm body. Exhale, relaxed mind. You can continue with that as long as you need. If you're ready to move on, go ahead and hug the right knee into the upper body. Interlace the fingers around the right knee shin. If that's not reachable, just go for the back of the hamstring. Start to guide your right knee just gently over to the right underarm. Reach through the left heel, feel the front left hip lengthen little sensation in the inner right leg. We'll take about four slow breaths here. If you're gripping in the jaw or anywhere else in the body, soften that. If you like to add on half happy baby and you know what that is, go for it. Just keep your left hip rooting. I'm gonna stay here. Two more breaths. Good. Breathe in and breathe out. If you're still in the half baby, join us back here with the knee hugging into the underarm. And then on your next exhale, guide it across to your left. Try not to force it, just let it go to where it wants. And then maybe start to open your right arm to the right, possibly to the upper right hand corner. Feel the whole right side of your body start to lengthen. Breath flows up and down. Then look up or over to your right. One more slow, mindful breath. And then inhale, come back up. Exhale, hug both knees in. Good. Right leg will find its way onto the earth. Left knee hugs into the left underarm. Keep the back of the neck long. You can always add in a little pillow there for support. I like to let the left foot relax. If you did a half baby on the other side, try it here or just stay with me. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. On the next exhalation, guide the left knee to the right. Take your time. Roll the heart center up, shoulder blades melt down. 
left arm possibly to the upper left or just somewhere else that's comfortable. So if you have like a frozen shoulder or shoulder that doesn't feel very nice today, don't overextend to the left, just rest it by your side or even the left hand on the chest. Good. Notice how you're breathing in the posture as it changes with each different position we enter into and we wanna try our best to stay honest with the breath and really just allow it to flow through us. And now come back up. So this just consistent flow of prana, which is that life force energy that flows through our body. So our palms are on top of the knees and see if you can inhale, open the knees out to the side slow and then exhale them in together. Do that two more times. Inhale out to the sides, exhale in. So kind of like you're rowing a boat. One more, inhale and exhale, and then go the opposite direction. Inhale out, exhale in, twice more. Finish up your last round. And then from here, set your feet onto the earth. Knees in the sky. Walk your feet comfortably far apart. For most of us, it's about as wide as the mat. Reach your glutes towards your heels again, and then on the exhale, let the knees fall in towards each other. They don't need a touch, but they might. And then once that happens, start to hug the upper body. The elbows point to the sky, grab opposite shoulders. Take four breaths here, soften the navel. Slow down, let go of any sense of urgency. You're just here for the next 60 minutes, just unwinding the nervous system, relaxing the body, the mind tapping into the power of the breath. On the next breath, uncross, recross the arms. Take a few more inhales and exhales with the rehug. Good. And then unwind the arms, start to separate the knees. And then from here, windshield wiper the knees side to side. Feet are still comfortably far apart. Just get them moving. Start to feel the fronts of your hips get spacious and attention. Good. And then we'll come back to center. Hug the knees in. Roll to your right or whatever side you prefer. And then you're gonna press up and find your way into a tabletop position. So on hands and knees. Good. And once you get there into the table, you're gonna press evenly into your fingertips so you can find some support in the wrists. You're gonna reach back through the sit bones, reach through the crown of the head. So basically we're getting our spine as long as possible. Good. And then on the inhalation, start to lift the crown of the head and the tailbone up, look forward. And then on the exhale, gently round in, spine curls, kind of like a Halloween cat. And then inhale, roll open, heart center through the arms. Exhale in, okay? So you're just creating this backward forward flexion of the upper, middle, and lower back getting the blood flowing, the breath refreshing. Nice. And then come back to a neutral after you've done a few of those and then start to rock your hips side to side, just a soft sway of the hips. And then if this is feeling pretty good and the knees are good today, then you can start to create circles. You can exhale the glutes to the right heel, come up the left body, down the right body. So we'll do about four of them one direction. Find your breath, let it move you. Good. And then start to go the other way, down the left, up the right, or whatever you didn't do. Deep breaths, let it flow. Good. Come back to center. Inhale, shift forward to like this very lazy up dog, if you would, but we'll be strong in the arms, softest little bends in the elbows, and then you'll roll to your left, look to your right. Roll the right, look to your left. So you get it. Go side to side a couple more times. Good. 
and then find your way all the way onto the belly, just lower down lengthly. Elbows hug in. Press down into the tops of all 10 toes. Let's move through Bhujangasana. Inhale, roll the chest forward, cobra pose. Energy in the low belly. Exhale, melt the heart back to the mat. So it's like a wave in your spine. We're gonna do this a few times. Inhale, reach through the crown of the head, lengthen the chest forward, just a soft lift. Exhale to the mat. Good. Take a full breath in as you roll open across the heart. And then an exhale as you melt back to the earth. Bend the knees, shift back slowly. Balasana, child's pose. Toes touch the big toes. Knees comfortably separate. Crawl the hands forward. Bow the forehead to the mat. Feel the spaciousness in your spine. Good. Inhale and exhale. You're gonna spend four complete breaths here in child's pose. Great. On the fourth exhalation, walk your hands comfortably to the right. Breathe up and down the left ribs. Reach back through the left glute. And then switch. Walk your hands to the left. Breathe up and down the right. Okay, come back to center, that's good. You can always stay longer. Inhale to table. Extend the right leg straight back from the right hip. Point the toe, flex the foot, and then stretch your right foot over to the left room. Look down the left body at your right toe, shoulders somewhere above the wrist. Shift the hips slightly to the right, breathe up and down the right. Exhale, release the right knee back to table. Same thing on the left. Inhale, extend, point the toes, flex the foot, and then reach it to your right room. Gaze down the right body. Try to find the left toes. Take a breath. So don't hang your head in between your arms. We don't do that in this um, practice. Keep the spine long. Just start to curve a little bit. Maybe you can peek over the shoulder. And then exhale, release the left knee down. And then find your way into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Lift your hips and then start to just walk it out for the first one, okay? Just to get the backs of the legs breathing and moving. Good. And then start to walk your feet and hands to meet somewhere on your mat, it doesn't matter. Just hang in the forward fold. Let the crown of your head drip down to the earth. Take a nice full bend in the knees and then possibly grab opposite elbows and you can either swing back and forth, side to side or make up your own creative movements here. For me, it's just all about a little traction for my neck so I let it be free. And then I like to let my arms kind of just dangle down for a moment so it's really effortless for a couple breaths. And then I'm gonna root the balls of the feet into the earth so the heels start to melt down. And then I'm gonna press and ignite my legs as I rise up to the sky. Use the glutes, use the quads, inhale, lift. Exhale, bring your hands home to the center of the chest. Find your way to the top of your mat, wherever you went. If you use props, go ahead and find some around the house. I should have told you that in the beginning, bad yoga teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. But I'm gonna use um, <laughs> these, uh, bottles that I got from the festival. So perfect hydration and the tupa chu, I don't know how to even say it, but the mineral water. <laughs> I'm just gonna use those for my props. So I'm gonna keep them at the top of my mat. They're about the same size. You can use some cans too. I'm gonna exhale, step my left foot back and I'm gonna slowly lower the left knee to the mat. And then I'm gonna press down into my feet and as I inhale, the arms rise. So the right foot didn't move. Reach up through your fingers, look forward, and start to find the breath flowing up and down the midline, the spine. Feel connected to the feet. Relax the eyes. Maybe you're at a half gaze or eyes are open. 
And then as you exhale, bring your hands to the center of the chest. Take a breath in. And then on the next exhale, start to turn the heart center over to the right. Reach the left arm forward like you were gonna shake someone's hand. And then the right arm back. So the hips didn't move, they're still pointing towards the front. Take one more breath. Press into the top of your left foot and the bottom of your right foot. Inhale your arms to the sky, engage your legs. Exhale, frame your foot with both hands. So you're either high on the fingertips or you're finding something to use as props. I'm gonna shift back slow into Ardha Hanumanasana and half splits. I'm gonna lift and lengthen my heart center over the tops of the toes. I'm gonna to try to stay long from the base of my spine to the crown of my head. So make sure that that's happening before you straighten the right leg all the way. So you could keep a soft bend in the right knee and still have a big stretch in your right hamstring. Keep lifting and lengthening the heart over the toes. Find another breath. And then on the exhale, come forward, track the knee above the ankle. Maybe your props get moved off to the sides. On or off your left knee, left hand down, right arm rises. Twist your body to the right. Take a breath in and out through your nose. Don't look up at the sky. Just look the direction of the center of the chest. And then on your next exhale, release your right hand down and then walk to your left. Wide-legged forward fold. Toes in, heels out, release the crown to the earth. When you're ready, inhale high on the fingertips or props, reach the crown of the head away from you. And then as you exhale, hinge at your hips and bow the crown back to the earth. So we'll do this two more rounds. Inhale, find as much length as possible. And then on your exhale, take the length with you back to the earth. One more time, big breath in. Nice flowing exhale out the nose as you fold. I'm going to bring my feet one footprint closer together. I'm going to root down, use the strength of my legs and lift the body up. Inhale. And then as you exhale, hands home to the heart. Turn your right toes forward. Start to track the knee above the ankle and come into Virabhadrasana too. Look down your right fingertips so you're in warrior two. Everyone hug the heels together and reach the arms away while you root down into the glutes and reach up through the crown. So basically you're going all the directions, in, out, up, and down energetically. Now flip the right palm and when you're ready to breathe in, reach up, lean back, open up the side body. So the legs haven't changed. You're in reverse warrior. Exhale, forearm to the quad. Reach over, left arm, left fingertips extend, the head doesn't hang. Use the power of the legs to inhale, reach you up and back. We'll do this two more times. Exhale, Parzival Kanasin. Inhale, reverse warrior. One more time. Exhalation to the side, keeping that strong base with your legs. You should feel your inner quads. Inhale, reach up, lean back, open up. Exhale, join me in warrior two. Start to slowly straighten your right leg. I'm gonna actually walk my back foot in a footprint for this, but you can keep it where it is. I'm gonna reach up with the right hand, just straight up to the sky, and then I'm gonna comfortably lean back into reverse triangle. So you feel that outer right hip lengthen. Spend a breath here. Fill the belly with air. And then on the exhale, windmill the arms down, frame the right foot, back heel spins up. Right arm rises to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, release the right hand. A soft step up of the left foot. Inhale, breath to Ardha, Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise to the sky. Reach up, lift up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good, so we did the right. The left side will just move um, breath to movement. And before that, bring the forearms together, the palms to kiss. Soft bend in your knees, you're at the top of your mat. Inhale, open up like a goalpost, arch just slightly, heart center rises. Exhale, forearms together, round in. Soft bend in the knees. Inhale, open up. Exhale, mindful inward movement. Last one, big breath in. Keep inhaling. And then a big audible ha. Ah. 
Release your hands to your hips. Roll your shoulders once. And then on the exhale, hinge and fold to the earth. Release your hands down. Inhale to half lift. Exhale to forward fold. Step back with the right foot. Lower the right knee. Inhale, your arms sweep up, look forward. Find the strength in your legs. Exhale, open arm twist to your left. Right arm forward, left arm back, hips in neutral. Keep breathing, crown of the head stacks above the pelvis. On the inhale, float your arms up and look forward. On your exhale, frame that left foot. Use your props or just your fingertips. Shift back to Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. I'll use this guy this time. <laughs> Good. Only if you can flex the toes to the nose. It doesn't need to happen. If your body lets you, great. One more breath. And then exhale, come forward. Track the knee above the ankle. Maybe remove the props. The right hand is down. On or off the right knee, the left arm rises up. Open the chest to the left, take your breath, a long line from the crown to the heel. Exhale, release the left hand, walk to your right, wide-legged fold, toes in, heels out. This time, inhale, peel the right arm up towards the sky, it doesn't need to go all the way. Exhale, release it. Try it on the left side, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, release it. Inhale, all the way to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, on your left, wherever that is. Find the strong base with your legs. Flip the left palm. Inhale, reverse. Try not to curl your toes. Exhale, extended side. Forearm to quad, right arm up and over, nice long lines. Again, inhale, reverse. Exhalation, come into the side body. One more on your own. Moving with breath. When you're done, join me back in the Virabhadrasana too. Hold it for an inhale and an exhale, and then start to comfortably straighten the left leg. Inhale the left arm up, possibly back, reverse triangle. On an exhale, take yourselves down to the earth, frame the left foot, back heel spins up, left arm to sky, big breath in. Exhale, release. Right foot steps to the top of your mat. Inhale to Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Find the strength in your legs. Inhale, sit back into Utkatasana, chair pose. Try to rip the mat in half with your feet. If you need to modify hands to hips or heart, exhale, sweep the arms back. Keep the shape of chair. Inhale, the arms up. As if you're moving your hands through honey, exhale, sweep them back slow. Inhale, back to the sky. You got it? One more. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Exhale, bend your elbows, lift your chest, stick out your tongue and go ha. Inhale, re-extend through the arms, lengthen your spines. Exhale, your arms down by your sides. Find mountain pose, Tadasana. And then draw the knees up the quads, lift the toes, fan them, and then root them down. Shoulders soften, but they aren't forced down the back. And then inhale, breath, extend to the sky. Interlace the first three fingers, soft bend to your right on your exhale again. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, soft little mindful bend to your left. Inhale, come up. So we're gonna do a couple rib rolls. There's a couple ways to do this. You can interlace your fingers and flip the palms up. I don't like that one, but you might. <laughs> or you can continue with the, the fingers pointing up and just interlacing the first three. I step my feet just a little bit wider than hips distance, soft bend in my knees, and then I just kind of roll the upper body. Bend the knees as much as needed. Just a couple circles. If it doesn't feel right, just skip it. Two more. And then you'll go the other direction. Inhale, and then an exhale. Last one. Come back up. Release your hands and fold forward. Hopefully you're at the top of your mat. You're folding the body in half. 
Inhale to Ardha, find length through your spine. Almost if you can like set a tray of waters on your back and it'll stay level. Exhale to the earth, step back to downward facing dog. However you get there, just get there. <laughs> Lift your hips as high as you can. Try your best not to sink into your wrists or shoulders. You don't wanna do that. Keep lifting your hips, find your breath. As you exhale, the heels melt down naturally. We'll go through a modified vinyasa. If you practice the full variation, go ahead on your own. Inhale to plank. Gently release your knees. Draw the navel up and in. And as you exhale, soft bends in the elbows. They skim the sides as you lower all the way to the belly. And then you'll inhale again as you roll open into Bhujangasan, Cobra, like we practiced earlier. Exhale, melt to the earth. Bend the knees. Shift back, child's pose. Take two breaths in and out through the nose. Just two, otherwise you'll want to stay there for a while, <laughs> which is fine. Okay, inhale back to table. Exhale to dog. So now we'll do the practice from Adho Mukha. So if that's too much, you can modify on the knees. On an inhale, free the right leg up to the sky. Just keep it there. If the shoulders are okay with it, bend the right knee, release the right heel to the left bottom, but try to level out the shoulders. Just take a breath and then slowly level the hips off and then exhale, step your right foot to the top of your mat. It'll get there. And then when it does, right arm to the sky, big breath in. Low lunge twist. Exhale, release it down. Set your back foot up 45 degrees. Come up into a warrior one. Root and then rise. Inhale the arms up. Look forward. As you exhale, take your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. If that's not possible, grab a towel or something. And then you can hold on to the ends of the towel. Soft roll of the shoulder blades together. Just stay here. Or if you're feeling connected to this and you want to try, exhale, fold into humble warrior. But try to keep the shape of warrior one in your body. Release the crown to the earth. Soften around the neck. Couple more breaths. And then when you're ready to breathe in, ground down into your feet even more. Charge the legs. Inhale, rise. Re-extend your arms. Soft shoulders. Exhale, hands to the heart. Look forward, find something to focus on that's not moving. Press into your right foot, step up into tree. The right foot never moved. Left knee points to the left, firm the outer right hip in. Find length. Anything with the arms, I'm gonna interlace and extend them to the sky and I'm gonna guide my front ribs back so my spine's long. If you have reverse namaste, go ahead and do that. Comfortable inhale, comfortable exhale. Soften around your jaw. Take two more honest breaths through your nose. And then on the second exhale, release your hands to the hips. Continue to find space around the sides of your neck and waist. Take your left leg, cross it in front of the right. The baby toes might touch. If they don't, no worries. Again, you can have your props in front of you. I should have told you that in the beginning, huh? Inhale, your arms to the sky. Exhale, optional fold with the cross-legged. So the left is in front of the right. You're releasing the crown towards the earth. You can have your hands on the props if they don't meet the ground. The back of your right leg has a nice sweet stretch. One more breath. Root down into your feet. And then on the inhale, find your way back up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Uncross your legs. Shake the right foot out. Shake the left foot out. Maybe a little bend of the right knee, a bend of the left knee. Good. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, soft fold forward. Inhale, nice amount of length. Exhale, step back into a dog or move through vinyasa. I'm just stepping back today. No rules. <laughs> You have to move through vinyasa, go for it. There's plenty of those happening. Breathe. Inhale, left leg finds the sky. Stay here, open up the left hip, take a breath into the left. 
level out the shoulders, and then level out the hips as you step your left foot gently through the hands. Let it root down, then breathe in as the left arm rises. Exhale, release it to the mat. Back foot sets up for warrior one. Lift up, inhale, reach to the sky. Feel your hips in a more neutral position, but don't force them there. Big breaths. And then on the exhale, hands behind you, opposite thumb, possibly on top. Roll the shoulders together, take a breath. Option to exhale, fold or stay up. Listening to your body in this moment. Breathe. Take another relaxed breath, strong legs. And then inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Root comfortably into your left foot. Find the foundation there, and then you'll step up into Vikstras and Tree Pose. Left, right knee points to the right. Outer left hip firms in. You're focusing on your breath. Arms can extend up and out, or whatever you're comfortable with. Big, full breaths through the nose. If it's not enough challenge for you, then close the eyes and try that. And count to 400. <laughs> Breathe. We are not doing that. Some of you might choose to, though. Okay, I'm going to bring my hands back to my hips. Maybe this, uh, what foot is it? Your right foot is going to cross in front of the left. So the baby toes might touch. You can stay here because you know this is a pretty safe place to be for your body today. Or you can inhale. And then as you exhale, a soft, mindful fold to the mat, either releasing your hands to props or all the way to the ground. I soften around the neck and the back of the left leg has its little stretch. Root down into your feet and then inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to the heart, uncross the legs. Shake the left, shake the right. Inhale, sit back into a chair. Exhale, fold to the earth. Inhale to Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, step back to plank, find a breath in. Honor off your knees, lower halfway or all the way, Chaturanga. Inhale, roll open to Urva Mukha, Upward Dog, or Cobra. Exhale, pull back, Auto Mukha, hips high. Exhale, release the knees, find deep rest, Child's Pose. So you should already start to feel the right and left body kind of waking now. A little sweeter, a little more open than when you began. I'm actually going to do the variation where you reach your arms back by your feet. Palms face up. Some of you will love this. If your neck doesn't like it, just re-extend the arms. I'm gonna open and close the hands a couple times and just really let the, the front of my head, the forehead just really melt down into the mat. Pretty effortless again, elbows soften. Couple more breaths. And then we have one final standing flow we're gonna do together. So when you're ready, find the energy and the strength to come back to table, inhale. And then as you exhale, soft inward movement for cat. Breathe in as you roll up through the crown and the tail. Exhale, find neutral. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Let the breath roll up and down the spine. Inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, breath, power up. Come up into Virabhadrasana too. So our second time arriving here. Start to straighten the right leg. The back foot might walk in. Start to shift the hips back and then reach as far forward as possible through the right hand. When you can't reach anymore, Release the hand to the shin and then the left arm up. And try to push the shin into the hand, not the hand into the shin. Again, if you need it, grab your perfect hydration water <laughs> and use it as a prop. Big breaths in and out through the nose. 
Okay. Remember you're pressing away from whatever type of prop you're using. You're not dumping into it. That wouldn't be good for your future body. We're looking for length, one more breath. And then on the exhale, track the right knee above the ankle. Inhale, reverse, reach up, lean back, open up the sides. And then on the exhalation, windmill the arms down, frame the right foot, back heel spins up, right arm rises again, inhale through the nose. Exhale, release it down. Lower the left knee. One more time, shift back to Ardha Hanuman Half splits, lift and lengthen. Take your breath. Exhale, come forward. Come off the left knee. Right leg rises up. Open up, big breath in. Exhale, release it down. Option to move through your flow or stay here with me in the dog pose. Let the breath flow. Inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it up. Let it root down. Then come up, warrior two. Find the strong posture in the body. Peek down those left fingertips. And then when you're ready, straighten the left leg. Reach, extend, left hand down, right arm up. Trikonasana, or Uttita Trikonasana. Inhale and exhale. Feel the outer right hip, inner left leg. Two more full, mindful, patient breaths. And then mindful inhale, reverse. Reach up, lean back. All in and exhale. Take yourselves all the way down to the earth. Release the right knee. And then go ahead and shift back one more Ardha Hanumanasana. Lift and lengthen. Just two full mindful breaths. The exhale takes you forward. Inhale the left arm up, come off the right knee. Exhale, release it down. Inhale the left leg all the way to the sky. Open it up. Exhale, release it. If you need one, final vinyasa. Inhale, plank position. Exhale, chaturanga. Shoulders don't pass the elbows. Inhale, roll open through the heart, up dog. Exhale, find the auto mukha, downward dog. Knees find the earth. Nice moment to rest. Child's pose, everybody. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Perfect. Okay, everyone, I hope you're feeling really awesome in the body. We are gonna add on a few things here. So when you're ready, we're gonna start to unwind now. Maybe you need to stay in child's pose longer. Just do that. If you're ready to join me again, inhale, come back up into table. Start to float the right arm to the sky. Reach up, lean back just a little bit. Breathe into the right shoulder and chest. And then exhale, weave the right hand through to the left room. Thread the needle. So release your right ear, right temple to the earth. You try your best to have your hips underneath or above your knees. Nice fluid breaths. Good. And then bring your left hand back, root it down. Inhale your right arm up to the sky. Let it extend again. Exhale it down. Take another soft cat cow, just follow your own breath. When you're done with that, go ahead and extend the left arm up, reach up, lean back, open across the heart. Exhale, weave it through. Left ear, left temple release. Right arm extends somewhere. Find the breath flow.
One more slow, full cycle of breathe. And bring your right hand back. Inhale your left arm to the sky. Awesome. Exhale, release it. Move the bodies through cat cows. Just one. And then find your way onto your glutes. See if you can come the long or the wide way on your mat. I typically I do this, um, I am gonna do it. Sit on something. So on your pillow or your blanket, sit towards the edge so the pelvis can kind of just start to roll towards the earth slightly. Extend the legs out into Upavista Kanasan, wide-legged seated pose. And you can have, um, again, props here. I'll use our water and we'll stay lifted. Some of you just wanna keep the hands behind the back. This is plenty for you today. If you need a little bit more, start to hinge at the hips. Crawl the hands forward high on the fingertips or blocks or props. And then you can just start to just, again, try not to round in the upper body. If you're doing that, just skip it today. And try to feel the breath flow into the inner legs. Some of you can go all the way down. You should honor wherever your body is. Try to have the knees point up and the feet somewhat flexed. We got a couple more breaths here. If your knees want to bend, let them bend. Don't fight it. Take one more full breath. And then we're gonna inhale, come up to the sky. And then from here, bring your hands under the knees, lean back, scoop the knees up, feet together, seated body canosin. Sit tall, find space, or on your exhale, hinge at your hips and fold to the earth. Okay. Back's a little safer in this one, so if it rounds a little bit, that's fine. Breathe. Take three more slow breaths. And then once that's complete, you'll rise to the sky with me. You'll extend your legs out and find your way onto your backs and lie down all the way onto the earth, okay? And then once you get there, do another one of those wall-to-wall -wall stretches from fingertips to toe tips. And then relax your arms by your sides. And then on the exhale, bend the knees, bring the feet into the earth, press down into your feet, reach your glutes to your heels, lengthen your low back, hug the knees into the upper body. On the exhale, let the knees drop to wherever your right is. Take four breaths. If the knees don't touch the ground, just put a pillow underneath. And then switch sides. Come up and over, knees fall to the left. Look to the right. Soften in the twist. Big, big breaths. And then come back up to center. If you need happy baby pose or a shoulder stance, you can practice any of those. Or you can just come down and come into regular butterfly on the back. This is sometimes really nice before we finish the practice. Feet together, knees apart. Whatever you're doing, take five more breaths. And then we're going right into our Shavasana. Start to relax your jaw. Two more breaths. And 
And then from here, you'll just find your way into final resting pose. And really that's any shape that you're comfortable with, at least in this class. So if you don't wanna be in the traditional arms and legs down by your sides, go to any other shape. And then once you get comfortable, find a way to let the breath flow again so that you can be your one point of focus. Almost imagine as if you can inhale from the soles of your feet all the way up to the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, it kind of washes down the body, the sense of cleansing and renewing you. And then it begins again. Inhale, fresh new air, brand new moment. Exhale, everything releases. And then it recycles, begins again, okay? Inhale. Exhale. Softening the energy in my body, my mind, releasing any gripping. Allowing myself to feel the freedom of the breath and the soft energy in my body from my temples to my toes. So take a couple more relaxed breaths. Notice the quality of your inhale, the quality of your exhale. And then start to find light movement in your fingertips and your hands, feet, and toes. And then exhale, let your head rock to your right. Inhale it to center. Exhale, let it rock to the left. Okay. Place your hands on the belly. You can end your practice here. Some of you need to stay longer. Some of you wanna come up to seated meditation, whatever you're comfortable with, just go ahead and find your way there. Sit up nice and tall, palms face up on the knees, and let's take two full, slow breaths through the nose, wherever you are. Bring the hands to the center of the chest. Om. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me tonight in this um, Orange County Yoga Festival. And just deep gratitude to Justin for putting the whole festival on and for all the sponsors, Viore, the clothing brand, and then all these amazing drinks. Um, I don't really know how to pronounce this one, but I'm sure you've seen it plenty of times. And then Suja, and then, of course, Perfect Hydration, and then Co kombucha. So thank you so much. And it's really such uh, an honor to just share yoga with everybody. Uh, you can find me all around. I'm at Yoga Works in Newport Beach and Costa Mesa and at O Yoga in Orange, if you're in the Orange County area. And it's just Brian Shaheen Yoga on social media. So you can find me, send me a DM, and we can connect and just have the most blessed evening. And thank you, everybody. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Thank you.